should I go bacon, good, and egg, double smoked bacon, cheddar, and egg, or should I go roasted ham, Swiss, and egg? I think you should do roasted ham, Swiss, and egg. Comment down below what breakfast sandwich you guys get at Starbucks. It's on a buttery croissant. Ooh, sounds good. Okay, hi guys. It is now, what's today? Thursday? Thursday. Thursday, the 18th? 19th. 19th. Okay, so if you guys saw yesterday's vlog, I, we didn't get home until like 3.30. I was so exhausted. Today, I was going to go to Pilates, and I was supposed to land way earlier. Go to Pilates this morning and have a bunch of stuff. Yeah, this out's this one. Um, and, and I already have credit loaded, so just get whatever you want. Um, Oh my gosh, what was I gonna say? Anyways, I'm just like so exhausted today. Like the flight, the travel day was really long. Like I think from the trip, I was just so tired. So we just have been chilling at my house. I've been editing, all, like I edited this morning, did some stuff. Quentin made breakfast, so sweet. And then um, I gave him part of this Christmas present. And then we like watched a movie and took a nap. And now we're heading to West Hollywood today. Are you going inside? Yeah, I'm gonna go grab. We're at Starbucks, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, I'm going to actually need to do a lot of stuff today. I have so many PR boxes to unbox. Oh, basically we left LAX at 3.30 last night, this morning, but we had to be back at LAX tonight or tomorrow morning at 3.30. There's like a 24 hour gap. Um, I don't know, you know when your body just like, you need to chill and you need to rest? That was me, um, but I'm really, really sad I missed Pilates this morning, but I would have like thrown up on the mat because I was that tired. This is beautiful. It's just giving me hot Pilates vibes. I could have gone tonight, but honestly, it just wasn't the teacher I really wanted, and honestly, I probably just, I just didn't have the time for it because I was just exhausted today. It was a great slow morning, though. Um, anyways, so I'm going to go to a friend's like near, Quentin's going to go work out and take a class at Equinox and pack for Texas because he's coming with me and then I'm gonna go all of my friends live in the same complex so I'm gonna go to like one of their apartments because everyone's gone for winter break right now I need to pick up part of the other big part of his present his big present gift thing which is the David Yeoman chain necklace which I, I haven't told you guys just in case he doesn't watch the vlogs but um and my Uggs that I ordered through Dom forever ago I finally have the short mini Uggs that I'm like obsessed with so I'm gonna get that stuff I'm gonna record a solo episode I'm gonna edit some stuff you guys will see really excited for my PR unboxings tonight and then um yeah I'm gonna pack and everything and we're gonna go to the airport I think we leave like 2 30 tonight and then we will land in Dallas tomorrow and I'm there for two weeks and I'm just so excited to just be there and just chill and, um so I'm just like really excited for my break so anyways that is it for today's vlog intro New York was so freaking amazing like I just have been thinking today I have my friendship bracelet on like how lucky I am to like one have like legitimately the best friends ever and like I'm one I feel really lucky because this is like a space that um I don't know. I think, like, the internet is an amazing place, and I think, for the most part, like, YouTube community is, like, really great, but we were just talking about, I'm, like, so grateful that we have such a, like, healthy friend circle with, like, so many people that are just so amazing, and, like, I don't know. I, like, love them so much. They're some of my best friends, just, like, normal day-to-day, -day. um, not even just, like, YouTube stuff, but I love them. I'm so, 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 so just, like, grateful. I don't know. I'm just, like, really happy, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs and stuff. I'm excited for Texas vlogs. I'm not gonna be uploading every single day after Vlogmas, obviously, but like I will be uploading, I'm sure, some more Texas vlogs and stuff just because like I know you guys really love them and I like them too. Comment down below, like, do you guys like my Texas vlogs, or my LA vlogs? I personally have been very bored with my LA vlogs, but life in LA is about to be very, very different this coming year, so I think that that's gonna help, but also I don't know. Honestly, like, I'm just like bored with my space, like. There's so many things when I get home the first week, I'm just gonna like clean out my house and I'm gonna get rid of, I wanna get rid of two thirds of what I, by get rid of I mean donate or like whatever. I wanna clean out about two thirds of my belongings. There's just a lot of things that I wanna do and I feel like sometimes things get so cluttered that I'm someone who like is so affected by my environment and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like driving me insane in my head. It like makes me like not think clearly. Is that dramatic? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, am I the only person that's like that? Um, and also, like, obviously, like, I have roommates and stuff, and, like, my roommate legitimately is the best person ever, but because of that, this isn't, like, my place, so I'm not gonna, like, invest all this money and, like, whatever and make it exactly how I want it to look. Also, like, I don't even know where I'll be in six months. Like, I don't know what my life is gonna be like. 
so um yeah i just like haven't had a space pretty much ever that like i really love that i feel like really represents me and like feels like home like i liked my one bedroom but like even then i had too much stuff like i just have a vision for how i want my home space to look like and in 2020 some way somehow wherever i'm living whatever i'm doing it's gonna look like that and i'm very excited so anyways i just realized i didn't even order starbucks i don't even really want starbucks because i have my celsius so this is the world's longest intro, but I'm really excited to be back. Honestly, I think I just needed to, like, I probably should have slept all day long until now because I feel so much better. It's crazy what sleep can do. Oh, Quentin's literally coming back, and I've still been recording. I've actually been vlogging this entire time that you were gone. Really? Yeah. That was a very long intro, so. We're here for it. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So, I recorded the podcast. I edited tomorrow's vlog. I did a bunch of stuff, I've been emailing, answering emails and stuff. It's 7.22, I'm about to meet up with Quentin again. He went to Equinox, guys, he literally actually, like he actually ironed his shirt to go to Equinox, which is like so ridiculous, like, whatever. Um, but anyways, I'm so hungry, I need food, haven't packed, we leave tonight, gotta get some of that stuff done. I have a huge PR unboxing to do. Um, I uploaded a few deals and stuff, so yeah, that is what we're doing. I'm so hungry though, and I've been breaking out like under my chin, kind of like gross, but I, I like somehow, I did something, I don't know, it's just like not good, so I've got to figure that out. I need to do a face mask tonight, and I also need to self tan my face because my body still, like that spray tan like actually lasted. My face is so much lighter than my body, and it's just like not the best thing ever, so I need to get that under control. But I know I'm just going to sleep on the flight tomorrow, and I'm just like, you know, whatever. Hopefully, he's out soon, and we can, like, meet back up again. I need to get some stuff. <laughs> the good news is that my bag's already packed. I just need to take a few things out and then add a few things, so, like, it's not the worst thing ever. But I think I do need to wash what I'm going to wear tomorrow, so... Guys, I legit ordered these Uggs over a month ago, and I'm just now getting them. But... I, guys, I know, blast in the past, people are probably going to hate these. I got the chestnut, really short, um, Uggs. Um, I don't even care, guys. I'm actually going to wear these. I'm wearing them on my flight tomorrow, for sure. But I'm going to wear them with jeans. Like, I'm, like, legitimately going to wear these. I don't care. Obviously, more loungewear, but, like, I'm actually going to wear these. Um, I <laughs> haven't worn Uggs, like, actual boots in years. But I'm bringing these back. It has the classic Ugg on the back. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking comfortable. Just the best ever. Very excited about these, and they came in at the perfect time because we leave for Dallas in the morning. Okay guys, I just unboxed a, quite a few packages that came in while I was gone. First thing, this is for my mom for Christmas. We are going there tomorrow, but obviously I can't travel with this. So I got a little skin fridge, which would be super cute for, oh, you can bring it in your car. Um, I'm gonna use it for skincare in my bathroom. Got a package from Glow Recipe, which is super cute, and they have this banana souffle moisture cream. I really actually do like the Glow Recipe skincare line. Then I got a Drunk Elephant Littles, which is so convenient because I'm about to use this while I'm in Texas. Hopefully this lasts me two weeks. I always travel with these. I always say that they're the minis, but they're actually the Littles. Um, also, if you guys are trying to get into... Uh, like drunk elephant or anything try this out because it's basically like a sample set of everything But it's just so perfect because I used to just have like I used to have like six of these So when I was traveling I just throw them in my suitcase and always use them and it's some of the best skincare ever Especially the yellow one the luxury facial oil wait Then I got this huge package of oh, the packet Then I got this huge package of a bunch of the Garnier Fructis like hair stuff It's cute because they look like they're juices like Super, super cute. And then, so this is from a PR, like Allison Broad PR. This is from Garnier themselves. So they sent me a bag of all the hair stuff. So I got double all of that. And then also skincare. I did, I got a facial with them a few weeks ago. And they showed me their new like water rose line. And I really actually love the stuff. And it's super inexpensive if you guys are looking for anything like that. Guys, it's 10 p.m. almost. And I still need to like pack basically. We leave at I think 2 a.m. for my flight. But, most importantly, my Christmas present from Jess came in. She got me a talentless set. So, I'm going to unbox it with you guys. Slash, unbox it on here so she can watch. Um, she's currently in Connecticut. So, I'm so excited for this. I am actually so excited, guys. So, 
this hoodie right here. I love the color. I don't have any in this color. I'm gonna wear this so freaking much while I'm home. And then we got this one, the, or the sweats, which are so cute and so comfy. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited. I'm actually gonna live in this. Thank you so much, Jess. I love you. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited. <laughs> and they match my Yeezys really well, even though my Yeezys are really dirty. Honestly, we always go a size up in things. These are medium. Um, I feel like they might be a little bit big, but I don't really care. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Coco was trying to get something out of my purse. That was rude. Um, no, like literally, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Jess. <laughs> I'm so excited. Also, we opened this earlier, but Dear Media sent me a cute little holiday gift. I already opened the card and everything. But this chocolate is like actually the best chocolate in the entire world. And they got it to where it says Dear Media on it. As you guys can see, we've been eating them. Honestly, we need to eat them like tonight. Oh, come on, no. We need to eat them like tonight because we're already out of town. But amazing. All right, guys, we've been packing. That's one suitcase, which that has presents. So that will have space on my back. This is my real suitcase, Quentin suitcase. What did you? Oh, it's just a bag. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, I just want to sleep. Good morning, you perfect angel. Hi. All right, guys, we are now in Texas. So last night, Mom, I haven't even told you this. We're packing. We had to leave for the airport at 3 a.m. It's 11.30 and my suitcase breaks. So then we had to drive. I'm already so tired. I was so awful. I was very mean, like exhausted from the flight before. We had to drive to Walmart. Thank God there's even a Walmart. I didn't know there was a Walmart like near us. We had to drive to Walmart, get a new suitcase that I absolutely hate. It was the only one. And then we made it here. So that big suitcase? Yeah. That you came in with? Yeah, because my other one broke. And I want to buy, like that's the thing. I want to buy like a nice suitcase set and i but it was only like 90 dollars. like it's not it was like really cheap for a big suitcase so anyways we're in texas now guys we got starbucks breakfast with my dad we're now with my mother people are really excited for you to be back in the vlogs mom good. and maddie people really like maddie in the vlogs too your hair looks very good, good. my sister does it if you guys are in texas uh i don't know her instagram handle but i'll link it below okay I just guys okay so we're back i left this coat here it's from Forever 21, if anyone's interested. The tag song, because I haven't worn it. But it's been in the guest room since leaving. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. So these are for my niece for Christmas that I got her. They match mine. These are so cute. There's one, okay, mom. The American Girl package that was supposed to have already come weeks ago has slippers that look just like these. Aren't these so cute? Oh They're even cuter in person. Oh my gosh. Wow. They were wrapped in this because Dom got them for me but oh my gosh they're so freaking cute so we're back in tex where are we going right now we're going to legacy west this is quentin's new favorite place quentin is actually like a texan at this point like I'm... he you think i love texas <laughs> then have a conversation with quentin so we're on our way to legacy west um we need to do some returns for him because i got him pajamas that are the wrong size and then we need to do returns for my mom and I want to just like shop around, so yeah. It's the best. Text part two. Hey guys, we're at Legacy West now. We're big fans. We're gonna meet my sister here. She works like not too far from here. Oh, we forgot the returns. Back to the car we go. Who else does this? Um, we're gonna do returns. Get food. I really want to go to True Food. I don't really want to go to Legacy Hall today. It's not really my vibe. I really want to go in Neighborhood Goods. I love Neighborhood Goods. What's Legacy Hall? Um, it's like. You would probably like it, but I just don't really want to go today. Is it a restaurant? I really want to go to like, True Food because it's healthy. And we were on a flight this morning really early, and I need a green juice, so I feel healthy. Um, yeah, it's like a bunch of restaurants in one. You can walk around. I don't know how to it's like a do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to Lululemon. I love this Lulu. I love Legacy Hall. I love Texas. Great place, guys. What life gives you J. Crew. Anyways, I got Quentin. Pajamas. I didn't vlog your presents or anything, right? I gave Quentin his Christmas presents. Part of it was J. Crew um, and his David Yearman chain. Um, but Best I got the wrong ever. size. So it's return or exchange those. All right, guys, okay, so we're going my to. My group sucks and won't go to ice with me. Will you guys go? Uh, uh, okay, we're going to Tree Kitchen. It's a huge ice sculpture. We can buy the slide. Oh, no. 
God. We're going to ice. All right, you guys have fun. I'll maybe. I mean, I haven't been in a bit since like middle school. Anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're going to True Food Kitchen. There's one in Santa Monica. Yeah, so you haven't been. So you had a lot to say for no reason. Okay, guys. So Maddie and I are splitting some salmon. It's fine. I'm splitting some salmon. We got this flatbread with like goat cheese. I don't know. I really just am on the goat cheese kick thing. You can eat cute. You don't have to. Teriyaki quinoa with steak. He's so hungry. Grass steak. I'm so hungry. When Quentin is so hungry, he's just like tired and not a human. Like actually, just not a human being. So amazing. Okay, got this green juice so I don't get sick because I've been flying a lot and I want to stay healthy. So, and also we're having pizza tonight, but honestly, I'm on this big juice kick and it really just makes my life so much better. So I'm really just all about it. All right, guys, Maddie is going on a date oh. tonight. So she's just, yeah, she's just <laughs> sending me, she's showing driving. photos. This, honestly, like I wish that you, Maddie on camera is really shy, but in real life, actually a complete psycho. Like, anyways. Um, we're going into Sephora because I want to get some Fenty. It's really cold, actually. I want to get Fenty foundation because Keaton had it and she put like did my makeup and I really liked it. And oh, I need I a new brush. I haven't even watched those videos. I was only gonna watch them because Keaton did your makeup. Oh, thank you, Maddie. Okay, so I, really I want one of these. I hate figuring out what my color is, especially because I self tan. Dry, dry? Well, no, both. You need this one. No, it's both. I love this. I wore this, Maddie. This was really great. I know it was. You're just already. I feel like this will be cool. Like, can we figure out the color? Don't put that in the video. Um, yeah, don't worry. I won't. Cool, cold. cold. I don't know. Let me see your hand. That's too pale. Wait a that one looks like it would work. But that, that one, one dries better. a little bit paler, so it might be better. Yeah, I like that one better. Okay, let's get that one. Wait, I don't. Oh, too sick. Okay, hold on. It wasn't sure. I was right. I want to get this off my wrist. Like, this will stay on my hand for so long. I like how they have different shades for the lip gloss, though. Um, this one. Where's my brush? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you really do like that. Wait, I'm getting this empty brush. And then this Fenty foundation. And you guys to wow. be more like me. You just want to train and us to be more like you. I, that's I a hard get pass. The best parking spot. So let's just say. Maddie, everything you do is illegal. But in the <laughs> end, does it work out? <laughs> All right. Anyways, we're going to Starbucks. This is the Starbucks reserve, guys. If you watched our vlog last time, we literally spent fourteen dollars on two drinks here, which we go to Starbucks reserve in LA all the time. Okay, I don't know why this is more expensive. Go home because traffic's about to be terrible. Traffic. You're, yeah, you're about oh, to be like sorry. terrible traffic. Great. Perfect. Uh, Alright, love, love you. Bye. You guys when I'm off work tomorrow. Okay, bye. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Got our shopping bags. Today we have our Starbucks drinks. Guys, it was only $11 this time, which means that the girl last time was wrong and we were actually right. Found out we were gypped. Yeah, we were just gypped. Okay, so. We got, as always, I can't, I can't carry this. Vanilla sweet cream cold brew. And then another vanilla sweet cream cold brew. No vanilla with peppermint. So it's a that's peppermint mine. sweet cream cold brew. Yeah, but that's just how you have to order it. Um, I honestly have, I kind of stopped getting that drink for a second, but we're gonna head home. It's like five oh, now, I think. It's so good. <sighs> it really is. Starbucks Reserve, I will say, is definitely better than normal Starbucks. Here's what you need to know. I'm a coffee amateur, but the Micro Blend 11 with vanilla, it's just the best. It's the cold brew that they have on tap. I know nothing Only about the this. Only Starbucks Reserves. Only there. Really big wow. legacy was guy. This is just unreal. Oh my gosh. Like this is nowhere near the best lights here. In the slightest. Like this is beautiful. Wow. You just love like Quentin. It's amazing. Christmas music playing. Ah, oh, it's just so good. So good. Oh, we didn't even go into neighborhood goods. That was like the whole reason we wanted to go here. Oh dang, you're right. It's fine. Hot seat. Oh, okay. If you could have either Emo's Pizza from St. Louis here, or mm, a Cha Cha Matcha in Dallas for when you come home, uh, I what think, would you rather have? Okay, I love Emo's Pizza. That's the only. I don't really love pizza, but I love Emo's. But I'm gonna have to go with Cha Cha Matcha because I just feel like there's not that great of matcha here. 
and I'm pretty picky with matcha so maybe it's just that I'm picky but I feel like I would like trust matcha better I would go there more and there's already a place that's similar to Emo's here you know it's true good call Touch of matcha or hot pilates? I knew that was coming. Hot pilates, 100%. Hot pilates over everything. Nothing compares. <laughs> you heard it here. No, it literally be it. This concludes this session of hot seat. All right, guys, we're back home. My mom is going to show you guys a little holiday house tour because her house looks like it's out of a magazine right now. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm like really cold, obviously, after drinking this, and I keep drinking it. Does anyone else do that? I need to edit Vlogmas. I want to get cozy. We're going to order just like pizza tonight and watch a movie. My mom is obsessed with Family Stone. It's like her favorite movie ever. It's because it's a dysfunctional family and she says that she can relate. So here we are. I'm just going to show you guys a nice little house tour. It's going to be great. Quentin is like actually obsessed with Bentley. He needs a haircut. His hair does not look the best it's ever looked. He's going tomorrow. Yes, I know he is. Wait, do you want to show them your chain? It's kind of messed up, but... Where is it messed up? The thing. Guys, this is from David Yerman. It's a great gift for guys. It's amazing. He's it's the, the best gift. I haven't taken it off since I got it. It's been, what, 48 hours? <laughs> Probably never coming off. Oh, great. Even when you work out? Maybe. It's not. It's real silver, so it's not going to turn green. I can get in the shower with it if I want. Oh, wow. Well, I won't be that guy, but... Not that guy. But... You know you're a good interior designer and decorator when your dog, your dog matches. It is true. Yes. It's amazing. And your grandpups. Yeah, yeah, all the dogs match the decor. Oh. It's like a Coco running joke. And Kobe. Kobe. Everybody says, oh my gosh, they all match your dog. This is Kobe. Actually, that's yeah. Kobe. Wow, we love All right, that. Mom, MPB Living. You guys can follow her Instagram if you guys want to see um, more updates. So let's do a tour starting here, Mom. Have you ever seen MTV Cribs? Say that again? Have you ever seen MTV Cribs? Uh, I mean, years ago. Okay, well, anyways, take them through your holiday decor. Holiday. Let's start with the tree. Did you notice it's different since Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. I that was the first thing I noticed. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Yeah. I added new. Oh. Ribbon, little double, double layer. Wow, it's so beautiful. And look at my Texas. Uh, Ooh, Texas forever. Oh, there we go. There's Coco. Texas antlers. Oh, Coco needs a haircut too. Oh, maybe she should go with Bentley tomorrow. Um, okay, we have some beautiful presents. Over here, nice stockings. With with gifts. Remember, Actually, remember the year you came home and you're like, oh, you already got her stockings. <laughs> her gifts. I'm like, oh no, those are just fake. Are those these are fake? Pretty. Yes. They're yeah. Fake. They're, they're for decor. Oh, of course. For decor. We have some oh, fire going. Great, great, great. That scares me. Will the dog just stop? Well, I finally got guest logs. Oh, okay, yeah. good. So much easier. It's not as messy. It looks so great. much easier. We have some little decor here. Very cute. Where is this from, this Mom? This is called Bottle Brush Trees. It's Ooh. A bottle Brush Arrangement. And it's from, it's a mixture. All over the place? Yeah. Oh my God, he's literally love in love with Bentley. Place. It's unreal. We have some more presents over here. Let's take them to the other tree. We have, as you guys can see, just some cute decor over here. There's stuff, there's more around the house, but we just, it's too much sometimes to go through. Poppy done. That's cute. Andrew. Yeah, her dad, my grandpa, is like really into, well, I mean, what would you even say? Like, would, like hot rods, antique cars. Yeah, antique cars. <laughs> He's on covers of magazines, guys, actually. Yeah, many of them. I made that when he came to visit us one year. That's so cute, actually. We have some garland. Ooh. Okay, now let's see. Tree number two. So, yes, we added our Christmas tree this year. And again, wow. I changed the ribbon. Since Ooh, you were here love the ribbon. Uh, that was, you know, the first thing I noticed when I walked into the house today. Now, the gifts are actually real this time. They are oh, great. actually. They are actually real. Great, great, great. Um, we've got some great stuff over here. Just some little cute touches in the kitchen. Looking beautiful, everyone. MPB Living on Instagram, guys. Check her out for all of your holiday decor and just interior design needs. So, I need to edit Vlogmas really bad. I have yesterday's vlog to edit because this is all going to be combined. Because I have a deal going up one day. It kind of messes me up. So, Coco likes me this year. Did you try to make her like you or did you just, no, yeah, see? And then she loves you. She doesn't want to be smothered, you know? As a, as a, as a 
grandpa mama, it's hard to like ignore. Oh, she's but so that's, cute. But that's, it's the trick. You told she's me this just... years ago and I could never do it and this year I did it. She's so cute. Success. Oh my gosh. Remember when she was so little? Cute. I'm gonna actually, I'll pull up that vlog with first day I got her and I'll show you her. Gosh, she was so cute. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just made some coffee. I have um, actually just been lounging around all morning. Look how bad my spray tan is coming off. I need to exfoliate so bad, but like I, does anyone else do this when this is so bad, but like you're wearing hoodies and sweats anyways, and you know. Anyways, I just made today's video live. Today's Saturday, and we're gonna be going to meet my niece, Sophie, the one that I love, the American girl. Well, she's my only niece, but she's literally the best niece ever. Uh, and we're gonna go to her soccer game. This is definitely crooked, and I'm holding it up in a very weird way. Um, I need a brush, too. I don't know where that went, so I need to pull my, like, my hair is rough. Anyways, I just wanted to vlog me using my new foundation for the first time. I'm currently priming my skin with my Becca backlit primer. I love this stuff. I honestly love this stuff like just on my face without any foundation. So as you guys saw, I have my new Fenty Beauty foundation and um, brush. Do you guys put the foundation like on your brush or do you put it on your hand and then on your brush? Like which way is better? Please give reasoning down below guys. I feel like I'm new to makeup. That's how much I don't like experiment or wear any like actual makeup, I mean BB cream is, you know what I'm saying, it's not like full coverage or anything like that, I don't even know if this is full coverage, but like it's not a foundation. But again, this angle is ridiculous, um, I'm using the Better Than Sex Too Faced mascara, this is actually the best mascara ever, I haven't used this in a second. Uh, it's like by my hoops, cue. You gonna go lefty with it? Yeah. Putting on my new favorite bracelet guys. Can you move my wrist? Yeah, go this way. Oh. I just put lotion on my hands because they were dry too. That's like worst timing. Is that good to be a No, I think that's fine, don't you? Yeah. I don't really need it over my hoodie, honestly. I'll probably actually do it small underneath. Okay, I'm now ready for the day. I'm in my talentless set that Jess got me for Christmas, and my grandma complimented it, so that's how you know it's cool. Um, we're about to go to First Watch for breakfast. I used the foundation, I really like it. My skin, guys, this is so embarrassing. I just don't know what's wrong with it right now. It's just like really dry, and like I need to exfoliate my entire self tan off. Like, this is just like not good. So, it's whatever. We're just gonna ignore it today. I Amazon primed this new book, My Friend Anna. Um, Lauren, Elizabeth, and Maddie of OKSIS okay for telling me this is like the best book ever, or that they just really loved it. So I got it. I got another green juice. This is the kale tonic. Okay, I just got this uh, superfood bowl, which looks amazing. And then it comes with toast and almond butter. All right, so we just got Starbucks for pretty much everyone. Listening to J. Cole. Guys, one time I tweeted that my little brother has called me 500 times since I moved out asking me his Starbucks order and it's actually a vanilla bean frappuccino. Um, and a lot of you guys said the same thing, but here he is with his Vindi vanilla bean frappuccino. Hot seat. Oh my God. Okay, if you had to give up one of these, which would you give up? Coffee in the morning or pressed juice in the morning? Pressed juice. Because you can't go without coffee? Yeah. And I can have it in the afternoon. Black coffee, right? Black coffee makes her feel, and I quote, powerful. <laughs> it is kind of a flex. It's true. I do vanilla sweet cream in my coffee, or at least you vanilla syrup. Like straight up sugar. Well, I used to do that, though. I, I used feel to be attacked. Like it does smell like rubber. It does. She's burning rubber here in Texas. She's very familiar with the roads here. Texas queen, we love it. So you heard it here, she'd give up pressed juice in favor of coffee. This concludes this session of hot seat. All right guys, so I don't know what I last vlogged. I think Quentin vlogged something in the car, um, but we made it to Uptown. I'm gonna show Quentin around. When we were here last month, we didn't really have that much time to like kind of explore. Slash, he's wearing my beanie right now. Big beanie guy. Big beanie guy. Um, slash like, there's also, so much in Dallas that I don't even know about because I haven't lived here in like four or five 
Dang, I hate that you can only use the front entrance. Oh, I need to grab the bag. Oh, yeah, 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 we're doing return. Anyways, I haven't lived here in a few years, and when I lived here, I wasn't like a young adult, you know? So there's a lot to do and a lot to explore. So we're exploring. I have the key in my bag, I just gotta get closer. Open it. Okay. Anyways, so we're uptown, West Village, doing some shopping. We have to do a return. Oh, I have all that cash there. Great. All right, we're going into Sephora. This Sephora is beautiful. If I lived here, I'd want to live in like uptown area, but actually so beautiful. Ha, ha, ha. Quinton said he feels really cool. <laughs> I'm looking. Wait, this one? Is this what you're pointing to? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You heard it here first. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, that's really popular. That okay. Solid. I'm getting him one, something. He just wants cologne. Like, that's what all he wants. But he gives you no reference of what he likes. I would wear this. Um, this one's a little sweeter. Like, when I think of my dad, like, this smells more like my dad. But, like, should I not get it since it smells it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I think that this one is gonna end up being the winner. But we're just gonna get it at North Park tomorrow since we're shopping there. But I like this one the best. We also need to throw all these away. We have so many of these things. I freaking love all of this stuff. I love the candles are so cute. Okay guys, Quentin is actually obsessed with Uptown. Look at how cute. Um, we also just found out there's a Core Power here and I want to go to Core Power um, probably after Christmas. Ooh, press spot. Brood and Press, oh that's a cute coffee shop. Guys, wow, this is super cute. And they have really good restaurants over there on that street. They have like, I wish they had an urban here. That's like the one thing that they could really use. But there's a lot of restaurants and just like cute shops and stuff. I know uptown, but this is West Village technically, but super cute. I like this place and they have matcha. Super cute. These people are so confused by us, but love that. We're going to talk about it. It's like favorite restaurant. Okay, now we actually took some photos because Quentin wanted some pics. Nice to change it up. Um, we're going to talk about it. It's my favorite restaurant ever. They're the best lemonade in the world. We're gonna have some queso. It's happy pizza. hour apparently. Los Angeles. I wish that we like had more sneakers. A queso shortage. Clearly. We're in the land of queso right now. Wow. Okay, let's go. Taco Diner is my favorite lemonade ever. You either love it or you hate it. I personally love it. For figuring out what we want, I always get the chicken quesadillas. And then we got the okay guys, the prices here are so cheap compared to LA. It's amazing. Um we got the queso with brisket, which would be amazing. And we're gonna pick one more thing to share. I don't know what we're gonna get though. All right guys, here's the queso. Kia, do you wanna do a taste test? Oh yeah. All right, let's see it. A little bit, there's some brisket going on in here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. That's amazing. I love brisket. I love queso. There we go. This is intense. Maybe I, uh, do you need help? let's do the queso, yeah. I'll do the- Okay, do the queso for the taste test. We'll do this for the brisket. Okay. Good. Yep. <laughs> Better than Chipotle. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, yeah, so that is it for this vlog. Um, from here on out, it's just daily vlogs until Christmas. My hair is crazy. My head hurts really bad. But I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys soon.